Hey guys, really quickly, I am washing my hair and I just wanted to uh, come and do some quick reviews and I don't know, just show you guys the new style I'm attempting. Um, I just want to say when I had my TWA and like in the beginning stages, like one to two inches, I was doing mad styles on my hair, I guess because um, it was new to me and you know, I could do it myself. So many styles and once it has grown out, I didn't do anything to it. I just took out um, some mini twists that I had in for like, actually today made for I think either three to four weeks like four yeah three to four weeks actually I don't know if I'm gonna do mini twist twist again because after I took it out it was beautiful I had a nice fro but then when I went to wash it it was twisted and tangled twisted and tangled mess so I had to use the um Talia Wahid to try to get through it so I washed my hair with um these shampoo bar soaps that I got from um, Shagrin Valley and I just want to say that I am in love especially with the herb um, garden I don't remember what it what's in it but I ordered these two because of the ingredients but you guys can check it out Shagrin Valley soap.com and um, I actually ordered these because um, kinky coils had them um, and I said oh let me try them too um, this was a while ago I ordered these like way way back um, I forgot what time frame her video was but Whatever her video, whenever her video was done, that's when I ordered mine, which is way back, probably maybe February or something like that. Um, but I'm in love with the Herb Garden. This is my favorite of the, the two. I also ordered a whip shea because I wanted to see if shea butter will work on my hair again because I tried it. And the ones, I noticed that the ones that I had were very grainy and I don't know what was wrong with them. So I just kind of, you know, wrote off shea butter in my hair. Um, so I ordered a whip shea thinking that probably would help and um, yeah, it was just it just made my hair greasy and oily So I use it for my body because I love the smell But I do want to say um, my girl out here in Philadelphia who I actually met on YouTube She um, she and her husband they um, they sell shea butter and back in March she had a Kind of a class on natural so like natural foods and stuff like that um, and I actually bought a $10 tub of shea butter from her and can I tell you this is one of the best investments I ever made and I was really I told you I wrote of shea butter but this I don't know this is just like the natural I, I don't know it's so soft and it melts in your hands and I I love this for my body because you know um, my New Year's resolutions I wanted my beauty resolutions I wanted to start lotioning my whole body and ever since I've gotten this I have been using this on my whole body from like neck down actually even my face when it was uh, actually cold outside because I get um really dry around here and can I tell you again my husband is like he's using it but I just have to say that we got this the class was around like maybe late March or something like that um, and we both have been using this and he lotions his whole body and I've been lotioning my whole body and I still have a good amount left this can probably last us until I'm serious probably going into October and I tried this on my hair I said let me see because it's nice and soft so I tried it in my hair and my hair came out okay um, it didn't feel as it was moisturized but not I don't know it was moisturized it worked better than the previous shea butters that I have had and something told me to mix a little glycerin in it oh my gosh worked wonders so if I just wanted to just use this alone just for from head to toe I could but you know me project junkie anyway um so yeah so that and then i also wanted to just uh tell you guys about shea moisture i think i mentioned it in one of my other videos my hair regimen video and um i am in love i am in love 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 and you can get this at any beauty supply store it's 6.99 y'all it's um ingredients shea butter Dion, okay, I can't say this. Deionized water, herbal complex, panthenol, centrimonium chloride, glycerin, cocoa butter, aloe vera, jojoba oil, and vitamin E. So really good ingredients. Six ninety nine. This is um it I, for detangling. I'm not sure. I still me and my um you know my honey hemp. But this as a moisturizer leave in. Oh my gosh, I did those mini twists that I had in. I use that on wet, damp, I mean soaking wet hair, and my hair was moisturized. So this, uh, yeah, must staple. It, it's a staple, 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 and I can find it in the beauty supply store. So this will be my summer moisturizer. So um, and then I'll only use and for um for my winter time, uh, I'll reorder my Amla and heavy cream for the winter time um, because it's a heavier cream. This is this is 
perfect, perfect, y'all. And to re-moisturize, if you have twists and you just want to just re-moisturize your twists, perfect. It is everything that I have been looking for. So Shea Moisture, it's Shea Moisture, Shea Butter, Leave-In Conditioner. Very, best $6.99 I ever spent, y'all. Um, and not too expensive. And I've had this um, for a little while. Uh, wow. And it's still, I still have a good amount left. And I use it all the time. Oh, okay, I'm at 520. Okay, so as I said, I'm trying new things with my hair since I've been sitting home and doing nothing. And I, I know how to cornrow. I don't know if you guys can see. And I, I didn't want to do like a tutorial yet because I don't know how the style is going to come out. But as you can see, I have put three cornrows here. And they're going all the way back uh, here. Um, and I'm going to do another three. Oh, on my bad side with my edges. Another three here. So it's going to kind of look like this and then do like really big chunky twists in the front and going back. I'll probably put some of the twists going in the front. And I don't know, maybe that'll be some kind of a braided faux hawk. Or maybe I might not even braid this side. Maybe I'll just do twists on this side and then just have these going back. I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll take pictures and come back on to show you the final product. Um, and if it comes out really cute, then I'll do a, a tutorial on it, you know. So I just, you know, just braid it and twist. All right, guys. Okay, guys, I finished uh, twisting it. So I just kind of twisted the front. Um, I did the other. Okay, where's my bad side? This is my bad side, actually. Yes, yeah, so I finished braiding that. And I had to do two little braids that just kind of stopped here. So they're hanging here. I'm just probably going to put pin them in and pin these in and then take the fro out the fro I mean I'm take out the twist tomorrow and then show you guys they're all over the place now but um, okay guys I got the urge to do something different I was just sitting here like yeah I really want to take out my twists just to go out tomorrow I like to take keep my twist in for a while because you know it takes time to put them in so it, you can't really see here it just you can't see the cuteness of it here I'll have my husband take pictures but I just kind of took those twists and just rolled and rolled and twisted and I don't know this is the side I'm gonna have my husband take pictures and this is the other side and then I'm gonna turn and I just kind of did I put a little uh, butterfly clip in the back so I just kind of rolled everything and twisted everything in so I hope you can see that I'll take some pictures and then I also take some pictures when I actually take the the thing out but I'm really feeling this as like a oh I gotta probably pin some more in it's like a, just a cute, sexy kind of protector style. I mean, you you know, hey, all right, okay, guys, <laughs> bye. Okay, here is yet some more of the hairdo. I pinned it down, so um, well, I you know uh, pinned it overnight, and it's just a little bit more laid down. I went out like this, and people were actually looking at me, like staring seriously at me. So I guess I did a good job. Um, I see I gotta probably work on some stuff here. But um, oh my face is oily. Yeah, I think it's cute. Really, really like this. Hmm, we'll try this again. We'll try to do a toot on it, but it was very simple. Just three cornrows, one or two, three cornrows on each side, then smaller cornrows that stop here, and then pinned pin to the back just put regular twist in here and wasn't even neat and just like I did in the last video just rolled them up and that was about it ah uh, yeah that's it all right try to do some pictures